everybody, Miss Owls here. Welcome back. In this video, I'm showing you how to make some delicious macaroons. They are coconutty, they are chocolatey, they are just delicious and actually really easy to make. These homemade macaroons are a lot better than the shop pre-made ones, which I did buy the other day because I didn't have enough time to make any and they were dry, tasteless and I won't be buying them again, put it that way. I go through all the steps and show you how to make them, but if you do need any quantities or oven temperatures, then make sure you have a look in the description. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you know when my next video is being posted. Let's get down and make these. In a mixing bowl, combine 50 grams of caster sugar with one medium egg. With an electric whisk, whisk until thick. If you haven't got an electric whisk, you could use a handheld whisk but you wanna make sure that this mixture is really nice and thick and glossy. Once the mixture is thick and glossy, add 175 grams of desiccated coconut. Then fold this in to the mixture. Next, you wanna get an ice cream scoop, and if you don't have an ice cream scoop, you could just use a tablespoon, and then place on a greasy lined baking tray. You wanna make sure that you do leave some room next to each one and keep going until all your mixture has been used up. You'll need roughly two baking trays for this. Using a tablespoon, you then want to just slightly flatten out your discs like this and then go around the edges just to pat them down and make sure they keep in that nice circle shape. So I filled my saucepan just a little bit with water, brought to the boil, Put the chocolate in a heat proof bowl and I'm just melting 100 grams of chocolate ready to drizzle over the top of the macaroons. I've let the macaroons cool and you want to place on a cold baking tray with some grease proof paper. I've placed the melted chocolate in a piping bag just for ease but you could drizzle on the chocolate using a spoon and then very carefully you want to drizzle this over your macaroons. You will have a little bit of chocolate left, so very carefully if you want to add some more chocolate to the bottom, squirt on the remaining chocolate, like so, and then just press down on your macaroon, and you'll have a nice chocolatey base. Place half a glacier cherry on top, and you just want to chill these in the fridge until the chocolate is set. And there we have it. You saw how easy they are to make. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do make them, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you do have Instagram, make sure you tag me in your post. I would love to see what you have been cooking and if you have followed this recipe. I will see you in my next video.